In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss price floors and price ceilings. I will discuss price floors and how to calculate quantity supplied and quantity demanded. Also, how to calculate quantity demanded and quantity supplied for price ceilings. Now imagine we have the following demand and supply curves. Blue is demand and red is supply. And I impose a price floor of $9. It's relatively simple. I just take the $9 and put it right there for price, for the P. So I have quantity demanded is equal to 50 minus 5 times 9. I have quantity demanded is equal to 50 minus 45. And quantity demanded is 5. So move the 5 over, and where the demand curve and the price floor cross, that's quantity demanded. Now I take the price of $9, the price floor, and I put that into the quantity supplied equation. Again, I put 9 in for the P. P stands for price. Quantity supplied is equal to negative 10 plus 5 times 9. This gives me quantity supplied is equal to negative 10 plus 45. Quantity supplied is 35. Where the price floor and supply curve intersect is quantity supplied. Quantity supplied is greater than quantity demanded. This creates a surplus. And the surplus can be calculated by taking the quantity supplied, which is 35, minus quantity demanded, which is 5. So it's 35 minus 5, which is equal to 30. So the surplus is 30. Now I'm going to discuss price ceilings and a price ceiling of $4, price of 4. I'll take the price of 4 and put it in the demand equation and also the supply equation. I'm also going to show you that there's going to be a shortage now. And in this case, quantity supplied is less than quantity demanded. Price ceilings create shortages. I take the 4 and I put it into the quantity demanded equation. This gives me quantity demanded is equal to 50 minus 5 times 4, which gives me quantity demanded is equal to 50 minus 20, which is quantity demanded is 30. Where the price ceiling and demand curves intersect is quantity demanded for the price ceiling. Now I take 4, the price of 4, and I put it into the quantity supplied equation which gives me quantity supplied is equal to negative 10 plus 5 times 4. I have quantity supplied equals negative 10 plus 20. So quantity supplied is equal to 10. Quantity supplied, well that was kind of fast. Quantity supplied is where the supply curve and price ceiling intersect. The shortage can be calculated by taking quantity demanded minus quantity supplied, which is 30 minus 10. So the shortage is equal to 20. So in this short tutorial, I showed you how to calculate quantity demanded and quantity supplied for a price floor. And the same for a price ceiling, quantity demanded and quantity supplied for a price ceiling.